induction kitchen. This is where all the action really happens for Chin Chin, Go Go, Baby, and Nair Kong. So the kimchi's in the core room, let's go check it out. And here it is. The kimchi's been fermenting away behind us for a couple of months now. By the time Kong opens, it's gonna be killer. So Gemma, it's kind of fair to say that kimchi is the basis of every Korean meal. Yeah, we have kimchi on everything. So it's extremely important that when we open Kong, we're going to do it right. So that's exactly why I got sent over to spend some time with your mum. So let's do off the batch now, show everyone generally how we're going to do it, knock away all our secrets, yeah. we'll show them most of it. We have uh, sugar salt, some onion, carrot, and ginger garlic beans, and we have two different types of chilies. I know you like chili. I know, but I'll have to refrain a little bit, make sure we get our balance right here. We've got three parts of sugar, so about 60 grams going in the bowl. We're talking about 40 grams of salt there, Jim. Yeah. Now we need to let this sit now for about 12 hours just so all the water comes out of the cabbage. We want the flavour of the cabbage to intensify. We're also starting the fermentation process. So here we are adding our ginger garlic mix. Ginger and garlic mix. We're using some nice organic garlic today. Yeah. Down from the farm down in Gippsland. We have some sugar. Just a little bit of sugar. Just to balance out all that salt and the soy and fish sauce we're going to add. Yep. Some spring onion. Like I said, nice and good quality. Julian carrot. Trading the chilli now. We want to give it a good punch. But as Jem said, I do like my chilli, but I have to keep a little bit of restraint to myself. There, <laughs> the chilli. Alright, and then just a little bit of shrimp. Do you want to give that a good mix? Kimchi is one of the Korean traditional food, which is healthy and good for digestion. Uh, it's really tasty. I really love it. Beautiful. Mmm. That's amazing. That's gonna be killer. It will be killer. Give that a bit of fermenter, fermenting time and. It's yum. So we've left our production kitchen. The kimchi has been batched off and put down. Uh, we're now down at Adam North's farm. Adam is one of our main suppliers, Hopkins River Beef. Uh, they supply us with a lot of our secondary cuts, a lot of which we use at Chin Chin and Baby already. And uh, things like the brisket and short ribs, which are gonna be incredibly handy at Kong. One of the things I love about the beef that you're supplying with is it has a, it has a really decent fat content and good marbling. One thing that we find is with the British breads, at sort of the 18 month mark, they've got enough marbling to, uh, to go straight into market and they're also still at that age where they're fairly tender. So that, that fat content over, over the 16 hours that we're cooking the briskets for allows for a really slow, low cook time. Uh, all the interconnected tissues then render right down through and allow it to stay incredibly moist. So one of the things we've worked on over the past few years with Chin Chin and Baby is is growing some direct trade relationships with our suppliers. Knowing where your beef comes from, knowing how it's grown, how it's taken care of, and, and sort of being able to specify exactly what we need is a, is a real benefit to us. You don't really get the smoke in your eyes in the kitchen like you do here, do you? No, definitely not. Can't wait, but we'll be smoking with a couple of different woods. We'll use applewood, cherry blossom, mallee root, a few natural Australian woods. Slather that on. Bit of a beautiful kimchi. And then uh, I'm going to go some of this beef. Roll up. This is our Kong Roti wrap. I'd love to show you more, but I'm in. Sorry. So, fellas, when's the next time I can get my hands on one of these? May? In May. 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 Sometime in May. <laughs> <laughs>